Guys, we literally turned the M4 into an SMG. You definitely have to try this class setup out. Absolute fun, especially since Shoot House is back. And this is perfect for close quarter combat, guys. You guys need to try this out ASAP. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notice. Let's get into the build. Okay, let's talk about one of the more important attachments here. We have the 7.5 inch Tempest Firebrand. So uh, this is pretty much a short barrel. Obviously, we want to play aggressive. This is going to give us aim down sight speed, movement speed, and hip recoil control. I understand there's a lot of cons here. Damage range, bullet velocity, hip fire accuracy, and recoil control. If you may notice, all those cons are basically attributes that's going to help you in longer range gunfights. But we're turning this thing into an SMG. We're trying to use this at close range. So we're trying to prioritize our movement as well as our handling. So that's why we're using this attachment right here, but that's not to say that this uh, attachment makes the M4 completely useless at range. So don't get it twisted. All right, now for the tuning, we went with 0.16 pounds towards that recoil steadiness. And then uh, damage range, we went with 0.34 inches, you know, just to try to balance it out as much as we possibly can here. I know we're kind of leaving some space here on accuracy, uh, but you know, that's just the nature of this attachment you, it's really tough uh, to balance it out as much as possible okay for the laser we're going with the FTAC Grimline laser so uh, this one I really like this attachment it gives us hip recoil control hip fire accuracy and sprint of fire speed only con is laser visible at the hip but I'm not really worried about that at all it's not a big deal and especially with the pros that you get it's definitely worth it especially that sprint of fire speed man that's free sprint of fire speed okay for the stock we're going with the Ravage eight stock crouch movement speed sprint speed and aim down side speed this is going to be geared more towards that close quarter uh combat type of situations here that we're trying to go for uh minor con in recoil control but it's really not going to be a big deal in the grand scheme of things once we take a look at the final stats here okay and for the tuning on this attachment we have uh negative 2.84 ounces towards that aim down side speed and then uh negative 1.55 inches towards that aim walking speed all right next up for the rear grip we have the socket in ZX grip. This is going to help balance out the weapon a little bit, you know, for recoil control uh, and one con in aiming stability. All right, and for the tuning, we went with negative 0.35 ounces towards that aim down sight speed and uh, 0.30 inches towards that aiming idle stability. All right, last but not least, we have the FTAC Castle Comp for horizontal recoil control and vertical recoil control. And for the tuning, we went with negative 0.57 ounces towards that aim down sight speed and negative 0.29 inches towards that aiming idle stability. All right, take a look at our stats here so like i was saying do not worry about the recoil control i got you guys man we have pretty ample recoil control great mobility great handling and great accuracy all things that matter in the grand scheme of things obviously the range and damage uh it's not going to be as optimized as possible but like i said this is a pocket smg build for the m4 we're intentionally using this up close and personal because why not you know it's fun and it adds a little variety to the game but the rest of the class setup you can use whatever you want to or you can just copy what i'm using here i got the combat knife uh stim shot claymore and our perk package is as follows we have scavenger bomb squad fast hands and quick fix and for my field upgrades i have dead silence and munitions box all right if you guys came here just for the class setup a like is definitely appreciated on your way out we're gonna be playing on shoot house today man it is back the playlist for shoot house is back i'm really excited about it man we need to continue to have maps that are faster paced but when you're playing on larger maps the game just gets absolutely boring let's just be real here that's why we prefer these faster paced maps because it just keeps the mind stimulated you know we got to keep things going all the time click 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 but anyways guys i'll see you guys in the gameplay modern warfare 2 needs more maps like this i can't tell is that a real dog <laughs> Bro, this man's dog is playing Call of Duty for him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he must be like sitting on his lap or something. <laughs> oh my god, that dog sounds so <laughs> like stressed or something. I don't know what's going on, man. Go, baby. Oh, see, I told you, you can still compete at range with this class setup. All right, man. 
All right, had to uh, had to mute that guy. We have to focus. Chopper time. Let's get to the chopper. Come on. You know, let's talk about a little topic here. You know, I think instead of just playing the game, you know, it might be fun sometimes to just talk about certain things. I mean, if you guys care about that stuff, hold on. doing YouTube for quite some time now uh, just for context I've been doing YouTube since uh, 2000 whoa 2013 it is now 20 23 so just do the math you can figure it out oh yeah man if you've been watching the channel and you still do to this day man I appreciate you guys you guys have no idea how insane that is man I get it dude some people they got to move on with their lives. I mean, I'm like that too as well with some people that I've, uh, I used to watch. But every now and then I get the occasional, you know, comment saying, uh, you know, what happened to the Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation and stuff like that. I mean, it's not that I don't. Oh. Bro, that man literally just spawned there. Let's go. Sorry guys, sometimes I get wrapped up in just, you know, playing the game and focusing. Oh, uh, but yeah, long story short. Oh man, slide canceling is still satisfying even if it doesn't really, you know, have the same effect. Yes, sir. What the heck? Why did I struggle there? But yeah, long story short, I kind of just, uh, I just kind of like <laughs> grew up, I guess. Yeah, keep in mind, when I started this channel, I was literally uh, like a little kid, man. Hold up. I'm gonna have to watch that back. I'm gonna have to watch that back. I didn't see that guy at all. I'm gonna have to watch that back. Hey, comment down below if I am going crazy. Like if you literally saw him. Which is probably the case because You know, I might be looking at something else. You guys might be looking directly in front. And we had to advance UAV up, so, I mean, it's just human nature to just want to, like, look at that constantly. But I didn't see him in front of my face. Yeah, that was really weird. Nine bullets left. Still made it happen. He challenged. I think they want to come back again. Round two. Oh! Oh my! Oh my! That was magical. Yeah! <laughs> okay, see, it comes out. It comes out every now and then, you know. He's not completely gone, guys. I still do it. I mean, it's always going to be a part of me. You have to understand. But yeah, if you guys are interested, like, I, I used to make, uh, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger um, trolling, voice trolling videos back in the day. I think I have a whole playlist dedicated to that, just trolling people in Call of Duty with that voice. Uh, but yeah, man, I still do it to this day, you know, to, you know, people I'm close with. But... 
Sometimes when I'm gaming, I feel like it's different. Like, I feel like I have a totally different audience now. Like, they're young now. They don't even know who the guy is. So, I mean, I feel like you kind of just have to adjust to the times, to the culture. It's different now. Things are different. So, yeah, it was just kind of a mix of, like, overdoing it back in the day uh, to uh, just kind of adapting to my new audience. Yeah, things are just different now, man. Unless you're an original subscriber from Call of Duty Ghost, then... Bro, you're absolutely amazing, first and foremost. And uh, make yourself known in the comments, dude. Anyways, we got the dub here. Uh, yeah. Like I said, man, sometimes playing Call of Duty, it's a little rough this time of the year when we're kind of waiting in between seasons.